This is a help guide on how to install Davis Vantage View Weather Station ISS. Let's get started. First thing to do is to select your installation location. Make sure it's an open area or exposed to ground level. Now let's unbox and prepare your Davis Vantage View Weather Station ISS. Let's now assemble the Vantage View ISS. We will set up in the following order by first, attaching the wind cups, then the wind vane, rain collector, debris screen, and then lastly apply power. You will need the included Allen key. First, place the wind cups on to the anemometer shaft. Press down as far as it will go. Use the Allen key to tight hen. Ensure the set screw is screwed in entirely and is tight. Spin the wind cups to ensure they spin freely. Next is the installation of the wind vane. On the shaft there is a flat side. This will need to line up with the flat side on the wind vane. To do this, you'll need to orientate the station so that the radiation shield is facing towards you and is on the left. Then face the air ahead pointing down. And slide the wind vane into place. Rotate left and right if necessary. When installed properly the shaft should be protruding slightly from the bottom of the wind vane. Then tighten the set screw with the Allen key. The third part to attach is the tipping bucket. This simply slots into place on the base of the unit. Insert the wider end first and then fit the narrow end. Then screw into place. Then install the debris screen. This is located in the hardware package. This simply clicks into place within the rain funnel. To apply power unscrew the battery cover on the base. Remove the pull tab covering the battery. To verify power wait 30 seconds. Then press the white transmitter button once. The green LED transmitter will then flash. Do not hold down or press the button multiple times. Then replace the battery cover. To make setup easy both the console and sensor suite are set to the default transmitter ID of 1. If you would like to check the outdoor sensor suite channel, push and release the ID button on the base. It will illuminate and then go off when you release it. After a short pause it will blink between 1 to 8 times. The number of blinks indicates the channel. So here it's configured on channel 1 and that's the outdoor station setup. We will now put the Vantage View ISS on a pole. Now that the U-bolts are in place, it makes the installation much easier, so you can slide it onto the pole and hand tighten the screws. You'll use a 7 16 wrench Tighten them, and you're done.
This is the sensor for temperature and humidity. The solar panel facing to the south, in the northern hemisphere, and transmit wirelessly up to 1,000 foot or 300 meters and updates every 2.5 seconds. And that's how to set up the Outdoor Sensor Suite ISS for the Davis Vantage View Weather Station. Again, this is a help guide on how to install Davis Vantage View ISS Weather Station. That's all, thank you for watching, smiley face.